Hey everybody, big welcome back. Today I wanted to show you, I'm going to do a tank upgrade. This is my bedroom tank actually, and it's kind of hurting. I don't give it much attention, and I don't know, the corals don't do so well in here, and it's not a matter of water chemistry. I've gone over to the test kits and all that. Everything's fine. It's got, you know, a, a little flow, so it doesn't seem like that's the issue. What I think the issue is, even though it shows up pretty bright on the video, is the light this was an amazon light that i did a review on um and it's in it's a fine little light the problem is i don't have the remote so you can't turn the intensity up so i believe it's like stuck at like 50 percent. it shows up on video way brighter um so it's pretty dim which is causing like corals to be kind of like white um everything's a little disturbed because i just wiped the glass which is still like really dirty. So today was the day to buy an upgraded tank. So I'm gonna go and show you, there's not much to show you in this anyways, you can kind of see a couple of clownfish and a couple of corals, nothing really, a bit of live rock. But uh, let's go ahead and check out the replacement tank. Okay, here we are fast forward, uh, approximately one week, I guess. Um, this is the Fluval 13 gallon uh, Evo. And so far it's a great little tank. Now, I'll show you around as I kind of talk. It, no matter what, it's gonna end up going through a partial, kind of like a recycle. And that's because, you know, I, I only used about a quarter of the water, maybe to half the water and the rest was new, but didn't use the sand, went with the black gravel instead, which is, uh, which is pretty good. And now with the brighter light, starting to get some algae building up on the rocks, just cause those rocks weren't really used to that bright a light. So uh, it's okay, it'll go away. I've, uh, I've played this game before and it's not a huge deal. Clownfish seem to be uh, pretty well adjusted. The anemones found it's spot right up on top there where it's happy we're down to one anemone got rid of the one traded it in at um the coral reef shop in burlington give them a shout out nice guy out there red and all right so looking around we've got a gold hammer cephastria montipora some various zoanthids some of them are still not open from the other tank but they're starting to show signs of life so i think they're going to bounce back and we got Duncan and some more Monty, another hammer and Feather Duster, who's just closed up. I don't know. It's like he didn't want to be in this movie or something like that. He was just out, but it is what it is. Um, and then the tank is set up like a uh, peninsula style tank, which is like that. Hold on. I got a, I've got a couch in my way and my cat. So let me go around and I'll show you the other side. All right, here we are. I've made it to the other side and actually bought a new stand for this too. This is like an Ikea stand or whatever. So with the stand and the two doors and the two drawers, like $115. It's good and sturdy and it gives you somewhere to put your crap. And then um, this is the other side. Haven't actually added any coral to this side yet, just because no real hurry on the side that's by the dining table really, right? So want the uh, the view from the couch is more important. But uh, it's, it's a nice little tank. This is like a little feeding hole in the top. And then it's got the LED light that comes standard with it. So if you're like that, it goes blue. And then there's off. I've added my blue actinic lighting from the other tank. Kind of like as a night light. I'm going to put on a timer. I haven't done that yet. Um, it's actually really nice blue. So it's nice in the evening when the corals are all glowing i guess you can probably kind of see the idea there i know the camera doesn't pick it up the greatest but and then in the back you've got the built-in filtration so it comes almost ready to run you do have to add your own heater and a uh you know power head for flow or a pump so did that i just gotta run this wire better so that the lid will actually close um but I really like that night light. So when I sold the other tank, I was not including that. Let me skip back to the original side. Hold on. And she will not move no matter what. She don't care. She just thinks she runs the show. Coral, what do you say? Hello. She's cute. That's what's up. She's like a little diva bitch though, but she's still cute. I 
She likes fish. She likes watching them, seeing what they're up to. What a sweetheart. Yeah. Thank you. You're sweet. And yeah. So actually, I'll show you the blue from the tank light too. And I apologize. I didn't bother doing a reef setup video. I actually was going to originally, but I noticed that there's a million setup videos on this tank already. So if you've never seen one, I do encourage you to go and watch it. Um, pretty cool little tank um, with obviously the way the rock setup kind of went with a bit more minimalistic rock approach just down the middle. Reminds me of my old 200 gallon for anyone that's been following my reef tank adventure since a few years ago. I used to have my 200 that was a peninsula and uh, I missed that tank but I will go bigger and better so there's that one sunny D and a couple of those which I think are watermelon and uh, these glow really nice at uh, at night and then uh, Greg from the Burlington Aquarium sucked me up with the uh, Sephastria and the Golden Torch which does not show up golden on camera at all but that's okay anyway that's the uh, the updated tank say goodbye to coral bye coral and uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video and if you've never thought about reefing it's not nearly as hard as people say or think it definitely does take some work but you can Really, you could have a tank like this with maybe a half an hour of maintenance a week. It's really nothing to it, so something to consider. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See you next time.